Hey guys, Straight and Level here. Let's talk about a couple things. Let's talk um, ForeFlight, iPads, cases, and mounting systems for pilots. So, whether you're a student pilot or you fly the airlines or you're, you know, whatever you are, anywhere in between fly as a pilot, I'm sure you probably know what ForeFlight is already. I'm not really here to sell you on ForeFlight because you probably already want it. If you don't know about it, go watch some four flat YouTube videos and you'll fall in love with it as well. Um, I'd highly recommend it though. It's great for charts, uh, navigation purposes and synthetic vision and some um, situational awareness in general. So um, with four flat, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, you can get the basic, the basic, um, it's called basic membership, I guess. It's hundred bucks a year. You can get the, uh, the next one up, it's $200 a year. The next one's $300 a year. Now, it really depends on what you need out of it. So for me, I fly float planes. Um, I really want the navigation, which I get I get pretty much everything I want for the for the basic $100 a year one. Um, now, if you want to add synthetic vision, which I have over here, that costs an extra $25 a year. So for $125, you can get the navigation, synthetic vision. Um, you don't get some things where you don't get like the 3D mapping, you don't, you don't get charts, uh, chart layover onto it. You don't get uh, geo-reference taxi diagrams, geo-reference uh, instrument plates. But uh, like I said, I fly seaplanes. I don't do instrument flying, and I taxi on the water. So there's no, <laughs> there's really no uh, taxi diagrams for what I do. So I have no need for it. So for me, I got the basic program for 100 bucks, and I paid the extra 25 for synthetic vision a year. So it costs 125 a year for what I'm running. Now. Um, if you decide you want to get four flat, which you probably should, you need to figure out which type of iPad you want to get. Now, I got myself an iPad mini, and it really depends on how much area you have in your, in your airplane, I suppose. Like, um, my cockpit's a little tight. I fly a Beaver on floats, so I don't have a whole lot of room to have a big, you know, 12-inch iPad Pro or anything like that. But you might. It depends on what airplane you fly. So, um, kind of figure out how, how big of an iPad you can really fit. I think the iPad mini works great for me. I've had other people try to tell me they love the slightly bigger one. Um, I'm pretty happy with the size I have. I would say if I had a lot more money to spend, I might get the smaller iPad Pro because it's not, not actually that much bigger than this, but you get way more of a screen size. So I might have gone that one, but that's like a thousand or twelve hundred dollar iPad opposed to my five hundred dollar iPad. So I didn't want to spend twice the price to add an extra inch. All right, um, so once you kind of figure out which four plot you want to get, what iPad you need, the one thing to remember with the iPad is you have to get a cellular iPad. I mean, you don't have to, but you want to get a cellular iPad. The cellular iPad has um, the GPS chip in it. That way you can actually get navigation. You can run it as a GPS. If you get the Wi-Fi only, there is no GPS chip, and then it's not that super great. <laughs> uh, I, I would highly recommend getting one if you didn't get the cellular chip. Um, so for me, I paid $525 for the iPad. I just bought it brand new a month ago at the Apple store. Um, and I paid $125 for my four flight subscription. All right. Once you figure out those two things, you want to make sure you don't destroy and kill your iPad. Um, I bought myself the biggest, beefiest case because I'm incredibly hard on my things. I'm talking like really, really hard on my things. I break things. Uh, I also fly in kind of like a... I don't know, rough environment, I guess. I'm going in and out of seaplanes and lakes, uh, switching airplanes, so I could, I could theoretically drop these. And when I, when I come in and land, if it's rough water, the airplane gets shooken around a bunch. And you know, if this would ever fall off a mount, which it hasn't, I want to make sure it's protected and it's not going to break. Um, I also like to do a lot of other things like rock climbing, and so I kind of wanted something I could take this with me. I'm not afraid to break it. And this thing is so beefy. It comes with this big giant case, which you can put a little pencil there, like an iPad pencil if you're into that. I don't use them, but you put this thing on there, man, this thing is a rock. Like, you can beat it on table, you can drive a nail with it. It's, it's going to be just fine. It's fantastic. So I'd highly recommend it. It is like a $65 case, though. So that's kind of your negative on it. But, you know, nice things cost money, I guess. Okay, so at this point, you got yourself your four flat, your iPad, your case. You're feeling good about it. Now, once you're actually in your airplane, you can do a mounting system. You can get a, a, a knee board. It kind of depends on how you're going to run it. I really wanted a mounting system just so I could have it up there. And that way I can fly and I can still see it without having to look down. I don't like having to fly and looking down at my iPad while I'm trying to fly the plane. I think this head motion kind of sucks. Um, I've used these before just by putting an iPad on my lap. 
and it works, but having it right here when you're flying to look out the window, it's much nicer. Um, so I have it, I fly a Beaver on floats and I have this mounted on the right side of my windscreen and it's just kind of like, let's see. It's kind of mounted just like this while I'm flying. I have this iPad right here, just to the right of my compass. Um, and you'll see right here, this distance is, I don't know, 10 inches maybe? Um, depending on how big the distance from their glass to the front of your instrument panel, this specific setup may or may not work. I think this works for pretty much everything. It'll work in Cessnas, 182s, 206s, 185s, um, you know, pretty much any little pipe or any, any, pretty much any like training plane you're gonna use, it's gonna work just fine. Um, there might be some old classic airplanes where there's a bigger distance and then you might actually want to get this longer arm, which I'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, so let's kind of get in this mount a little bit. This is a RAM mount, X-Grip. Um, I like it a lot. You just squeeze this guy, drop it in, and it's in there. It's not going anywhere. When you get this, it comes in four different pieces. I'll kind of disassemble it just to show you. This is the X-mount part. This is probably, I think it's like $38 if you buy it independently, which you could, you could buy all these pieces independently. Um, this is the double ball, regular size. Um, now I was saying, this one's, I don't know, three and a half inches. You can buy one that's seven inches, so it's probably that long. Um, and if that's the case, you know, you'd get significantly longer reach on your iPad. So if you have that situation where the window and your instrument panel is a little longer distance, you might want to get the longer arm for it. Then you got the suction cup, and I love the suction cup. Um, I guess there's actually another piece, this little ball right here, this little RAM ball screws right into the suction cup. I already attached it. But this suction cup is great. You put it on, it works incredible on glass. You just put it on glass, you set it down, crank this thing over, and it's locked. I mean, I can pick this glass up, it's, it's in there good, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's super solid. I really bought this system because it's the most rugged one I could find and I'm gonna give mine a beating. So, uh, the nice thing is when I, when I show up in my plane, I usually have this, you know, I usually have this thing all already hooked up. But you, know, you can just kinda see it hooks up pretty quickly. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. I mean, so normally when I have my fly bag, I pull my iPad out. I'll stick this boom right where I want. Oops, that's loud. Put this right where I want to on my windscreen to lock it in place. Drop my iPad in. I'll loosen it. Put it right where I want it to be. Lock it down. And then I'm ready to roll. Um, so I'd highly recommend this. I'll leave um, I'll leave some links in the comments. You can. I'll show you which uh, iPad Mini I have. The uh, the Wi-Fi Plus cellular. I'll show you a link to the OtterBox. I have a link for this all-in-one kit for the uh, RAM mount. I'll also throw in there the extended double ball arm if you think you need a longer one. But yeah, um, I've been running this for two weeks now. It's been running great. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, leave me a comment. Like, follow, share. Um, yeah, that's about it. Have a good day, guys.